Hi, I am Marcy Stifter. I have two boys that play Laker baseball. They both tried out in March and Luke made varsity and my son Jack was gonna have his uh, freshman year this year playing baseball with Josh. I just wanna say that I am very disappointed, very upset with how West Bloomfield schools have handled this situation by firing Josh without communicating anything to any of the parents or any of the teammates. I understand that there was an incident. However, if there was a serious problem where our kids were in danger, don't you think that the parents would have come to you, all of us, lots of us, a small group of us, you basically just sat down with one parent who's very angry and I understand her anger and her frustration, but you are not making the right decision and definitely not at the right time. It's extremely frustrating finding out about this while we're, we were all basically locked inside our houses. We have no communication with the board, with the administration, and we found out about this through social media. So Josh is very well liked. We respect him very much and we definitely want this overturned. We definitely need to be heard, not just public comments at a school board meeting, which is all we've been given. So um, please reconsider and let's get back together and regroup and actually Let's talk to the parents about this. Um, it is about our kids and their baseball program. So um, I look forward to hearing back from you guys. And I don't wanna see Josh's career ruined and I would like to see him out at West Bloomfield High School coaching our boys once we're able to get through this pandemic. So stay safe and healthy and uh, let us know when we're all gonna get together and discuss this as adults. The first time I met Josh was about this time of year in 2017. I had an eighth grade baseball player who was about to start high school and wanted to have a program that would be fun to watch. I reached out to the athletic director to get a list of incoming freshman baseball players and recommendations for a fall ball baseball coach. I thought what a great way for the kids to come into their freshman year to already know kids from different schools, different ball clubs, coming together in August with a common passion. The coach recommendation I received was Josh. He was a four-year varsity player, <clears throat> four-year varsity starter at West Bloomfield, player and coach at the Hit Dogs and other prominent travel baseball programs. Our first meeting was at Starbucks on Orchard Lake. It's gone now. I've interviewed and hired and fired hundreds of people in my professional career. After this meeting, I was confident Josh was, was someone who would be a great coach for the kids. This was three years ago. Since then, I've never question my belief in Josh. I appreciate how much extra time he spends with the kids, his knowledge of the game, how much he wants to win and his passion for, and his pa he was passionate for the upcoming year to be his first season as a head coach. I hope the board can reconsider their initial decision of terminating Josh and bring him back into the program. Thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Jeff Dalton. Uh, we are a West Bluefield baseball family. Uh, we've been in the West Bloomfield School District for quite a while. I myself went through the West Bloomfield Schools. Two of my sons attended the West Bloomfield Schools. My son Braden here is a junior at West Bloomfield High School. He's going to be a senior next year. And we're here to uh, hopefully get Josh Bernberg reinstated as the vars varsity baseball coach. Uh, Braden? I went in my senior year at West Bloomfield. And without a good head coach like Josh, my college career might not happen. That's right, we are in complete support of Josh Bernberg. Our first experience with Josh was meeting him when Braden played freshman fall ball going into high school. He uh, helped him a lot. He mentored him throughout his career. He has um, gotten him a lot of leads. Uh, he got him a lead with a uh, recruiter, Ward Elliott, which Braden would have never gotten any kind of um, response or um, work with a, a recruiter like him. Josh helped him with that. Josh is a respected coach in the community and without a uh, coach like Josh Bernberg, West Broomfield School, um, the baseball season will um, not, be, not be a successful one, I'll tell you that. We have had several coaches, uh, four to be exact, in Braden's uh, 
baseball career at West Bloomfield and we finally had a coach that was going to bring us um, to a state championship and it's going to be Josh Bernberg. Please reinstate him. What happened to him is not fair and was unjustified. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Carly Sue Williams. I'm representing the Williams family in support of Josh Bernberg, the coach for West Bloomfield High School baseball team. Um, upon hearing that he had been fired due to an incident back in October, I thought that I would um, do something to just support him, uh, to say that he's always been professional in dealing with me and my family. Um, my son has nothing but high regard for him as well, and my husband. Um, he's always uh, done everything that, that a baseball coach should do um, in my eyes. Uh, also, I just wanted to just briefly, I'm sure you've heard from other people, but just briefly to say, um, when is an accident just an accident? Unfortunately, there was a young boy that was hurt at a practice, practice facility, and I'm sure that whatever he did to get hit in the head, he wouldn't do again. Um, I don't see that being any fault of anyone other than his own, unfortunately. Um, but I think that it is time for people to uh, get back to a place where an accident can just be an accident. Um, I think that Josh handled the situation well, um, from what I've been told. I think that, um, once again, he's always been very professional and, um, I mean, just reaching out to us off-season-wise and things like that. And I was just really looking forward to a good season and to hear all of these things that have happened outside of the coronavirus um, is just really sad. Um, if, there, if there's anything else we can do to help, I would love to. I'm sending emails and um, I will send a letter later on today also. Um, and I do, I want to say this too. My son has been playing sports since he was five years old. He is 17, will be 18 in August. He has been hurt in baseball, football, and basketball. We have had stitches, broken noses, broken fingers, and things of the sort. Um, each time we, these things have ever happened, the coach has never gone with me to the hospital. Um, I've been able to handle those things on my own. And I don't see that there's a need for those kind of things to happen. I think that once again, this unfortunate incident that happened was an accident. Um, Josh should have his job. He was not even acting as a coach during this time. It was not a mandatory um, practice of any kind. Once again, my son was not there. Um, and I just hope that the things are taken into consideration to um, give him his job back and to get the baseball team moving forward um, to a place that they can really compete and have a great 2020-2021 season. Um, that's all I want to say. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chad Kerr. I'm here with my family to show our support for Coach Bernberg and everything he means to us and to the West Bloomfield Baseball Program. His knowledge of the game, his community ties, his extensive connections to college and baseball professionals alike were taking West Bloomfield Baseball to the next level and beyond. Since being head coach, he has dedicated himself to the program, taking a small amount of time and making it bigger and better. He spotted our son as an incoming freshman and told us he belonged playing for one of Michigan's top elite baseball programs, the Motor City Hit Dogs. He is a mentor to our kids and cares deeply about teaching them how to be winners on and off the field. His goal is to make the West Bloomfield program the best in the state. He has the respect of our community, the respect of his colleagues, and the respect of his players. His connections go beyond the college level and into the professional level. His associations are endless. Coach Bernberg was generating a culture by making it the place for baseball. Students that otherwise would have gone to Brother Rice or St. Mary's will now stay to play for him. He is the coach West Bloomfield needs and we are asking you to listen to the praises of all these families here today. Please invest in our kids' future, especially during these unprecedented times of budget cuts and uncertainty. We are asking you to reinstate Coach Bernberg as varsity head coach. All right, Garrett, go ahead and why don't you say something. I met Coach Josh as a freshman coming from Abbott. He cares a lot about us players and wants us to do well off and on the field, um, especially in the classroom. He is the real deal and always puts our safety first, always. Someone has made a mistake and that's okay because it can easily be fixed by bringing him back. We need him, the school needs him, he is our coach.
Thank you. Hi, I'm Lori Kerr, and we have been members of this community since 1975. Our investment in the school district ranges far and wide on many levels. Our son and his teammates lost their season to COVID-19, a junior's most important season of their high school career. And now they have been stripped of their varsity head coach and the opportunities that he's been working on with them to play at the collegiate level. Three varsity head coaches and two within less than a year. How can this happen? Coach Bernberg is the high quality, well-rounded coach that West Bloomfield baseball needs. And he was bringing the program and its players to the front page. We're asking you, please reinstate him. Hi, I am uh, Mitesh Shah. I'm Ayush's dad, uh, who just made it to the varsity team this year. Uh, really unfortunate kids didn't get to play because of the COVID-19. Uh, and uh, even more unfortunate about the coach, uh, coach Josh. I, I haven't, you know, spent a lot of time with him, but uh, I, a couple of incidents that definitely, you know, left impression on me how much he cares about the kids. Uh, and one of the incident comes from a couple of years back when he was coaching the freshman team. Uh, on the very, you know, he was playing Ayush in a lot of different positions, even though Ayush like first base. And on the very first, very last game, he pulled me aside and talked to me and said, hey, you know, I know Ayush loves to play the first base, but he has so much potential in other position. I just want to make sure I get him out of his comfort zone and uh, let him develop his potential. And you should be really proud of him. Uh, this kind of shows that he truly cares about the kids, developing them, you know, making sure they play the best game that they can. Uh, I'm sure that the incident that happened is very unfortunate. Uh, but what I can say is that uh, Coach Josh really, really cares about the kids. And I just wish that kids get a chance to play with him. Thank you. Coach Josh has been nothing but an amazing coach since he's got to WB. The first time he was my coach was the fall of my freshman season. He was our fall ball coach and he pushed us to do our best and it showed on the baseball diamond. He was going to push us even more this season in order to improve from last year. He has been nothing but respected since he's been here. He is also he is also liked a lot by every player alike. The event that happened was unfortunate, but he is willing to give up his time and effort in order to make the whole team better. Thank you. My name is Max Wardell. I'm the director of the Overhead Athletic Institute, which is a medical facility where we train overhead throwing athletes, baseball and softball players. And I just wanted to say a few words uh, about Josh and his character. I've known Josh for a while. We actually played against each other um, from about 13 U on through high school, um, known each other through college, and I've known him as a coach, and now I've worked with a fair amount of his athletes from both of his summer ball teams and now from West Bloomfield High School. And so I wanted to say a few words. He's always been a class act. Uh, even when we were playing against each other when we were younger, he was a great baseball player, but he was always a class act on the field, very humble. Um, not only was he their leadoff hitter whenever we played against uh, his teams in both summer and high school, but he was one of the guys that when he got out, he represented the team and himself with very high integrity. And, you know, that kind of carried forward in, as a coach and as someone who works with athletes now, he's one of these guys where he actually cares about the players and it's not about him, it's about getting these kids to the next level and getting them where they need to be and uh, allowing them to reach their true potential. And I think it's rare where you meet coaches where they actually care about uh, the athlete and care for the athlete. And that's the type of coach that I've seen in uh, Josh Bernberg and that's the type of guy uh, that I know Josh Bernberg as. So I wanted to share this video and hope that this uh, helps in any way it can. Greetings to the uh, school board of West Bloomfield High. I'm Dr. John Marine, uh, pastor 
of 50 years. Uh, my church, I began 1969 in the city of Pontiac. We are now in Auburn Hills. I have uh, been an advocate for individuals that were in trouble or having difficult times. And uh, I have a young man that uh, I'm very concerned about. That's my grandson. I am concerned that uh, he pursues the career that he's uh, endeavored to pursue. His mom and dad have put a lot of money into uh, his uh, efforts to become a baseball player. He loves uh, the coach, uh, Josh, that has been working with him. He's done tremendous work with Braden. And uh, in my experience as a pastor, oftentimes the facts as they are presented are not always as they may seem to be. And I'm aware of the situation somewhat. My daughter may be aware of it. The young man that was uh, injured, uh, that's unfortunate. We certainly wouldn't want anyone to go through what that young man went through. Uh, but the uh, decision that you make concerning Josh not only affects uh, one family, but it affects m multiple families that have been uh, influenced by this young man, Josh. He's uh, 25 or 26 years of age, and he's uh, trying to work with the young man. He's done a wonderful job with my grandson. And I would hope that you would seriously consider for making a decision, consider the uh, decision that you need to make, how it will affect not only the one family that maybe has uh, questioned uh, whether this young man should continue as a coach. You might consider uh, how the effect it would have on him, Josh himself, but not only Josh, but all those that had a lot of confidence in him, certainly my daughter and her husband, and Braden had a lot of confidence in Josh, who's a great help to them. So I hope you'll seriously consider it. And as I would always say, as a minister, pray about it, pray for wisdom. And I pray, I hope that you'll make the right decision. Hi, my name is Erica Danzer, and I'm here to say a few things about Coach Josh Bernberg. He was recently fired from his position as head coach at West Bloomfield High School of the baseball program. I have a freshman son at the high school who recently made the JV team. Um, obviously, our season never got started due to the pandemic that's been going on. Um, I can tell you that he was involved in the incident in October, and the treatment that he received from the coaches, the staff, and the administration was nothing short of caring and generous. They reached out to him constantly. They were always there for him when needed, as well as my family, and it was very much appreciated. I think the board made a giant mistake in firing this coach. He connected with the boys, the families loved him. He was going to take this baseball program to the next level and make West Bloomfield proud. I really truly hope that the board reconsiders their decision and has time and listens to all of these parents and families that feel that they made a giant mistake. And I really hope that they take all this into consideration and give him back his position. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dr. Jeff Dalton. I previously addressed the school board. I've sent a letter to the principal and to Dr. Hill and to the athletic director, all hoping for the reinstatement of Josh Bernberg as the coach of the varsity baseball team. At the beginning of the year, um, coach brought in a number of professionals because he cares about the safety and cares about the well-being of his players. He brought in HealthQuest, physical therapists. He brought in fixed performance, athletic trainers as well as overhead athletics to help with arm care. These are all off-site facilities. They are all to help with the development with, and the care of all the players, just like high performance was. If my son was to be injured at any of these places, do I then come to the school board to have Josh fired since he recommended them? No, of course not. That was an accident that happened. Everyone has empathy and compassion for what happened to the individual and for the family. Everyone. No one is disputing that. What we're disputing is the termination of a coach Josh Bernberg. He obviously cares for his players. He cares for the families of the players. He did that from the very beginning, bringing all of these off-site professionals to help with the development of these kids and their safety and well-being. We certainly hope that you look into this further and hopefully that you will reinstate Josh Bernberg as coach of the West Bloomfield varsity baseball team.